seconds. How will I ever survive war college? I'm so frail. Yeah, you're so weak and fragile. Bitch. Name. Who is that? Zayden Rierson. His father killed your brother. Well, I can give him something to murder. What? what? I know you've been poisoning your opponents before you fight them. What are you gonna do? Choke me about it? Violet. <laughs> okay, we're gonna just lie low and then we're gonna find my dragon. Hey guys, this way we can go kill the baby one. <sighs> Can one of you idiots explain to me how murdering a dragon in a dragon breeding ground is a good idea? Hey, dickhead, my tits are down here. Climb on. Look, Violet, I understand that you defied all odds, came back with two dragons, and survived up until now, but you're still frail, and sad, and weak. Dang. And brittle, and Dang. fragile, and Dang. dainty, and Dang. breakable, and- Dang. Violet, there's something I have to tell you. Because of our dragon's bonds, we're also bound to each other. Oh no, should we like sleep in the same room for safety? Fair warning, I sleep naked. Hey Barlow, parry this you fucking casual. <laughs> that lightning was really hot. Jesus, four lightning strikes in under a minute. Climb exchange. Violence, did Dane ever touch your face? He can read your memories. Oh, that little simp. We're under attack, it's the- Sasha Valor. The Venom. Well, like that was anyone's first guess. Where are we? You're safe. Welcome to Arisha. Who is that? He likes to make an entrance. Bad bitch, I'm the buck. Alien mm -hmm. superstar. You and I, we were born to die. We'll do anything if it gets me away from you. Children, children, children! This interminable bickering was amusing at first, but it's getting very stale and we've still got a long drive ahead of us, so... Why don't you two cut the horse shit and get to the part where you admit your sexual feelings for one another? Whoa! You are way off base, Oh, buddy. spare me, spare me, spare me. Yes, yes, he's a brute, I know. Probably reminds you of a bad relationship, and gosh, you really like a nice man to settle down with, but admit it, you're real curious to know what he's like in the sack. And you, ha! Ah! Well, you're just a big man, baby. You'd rather act tough than show his true feelings because the last time you opened your heart, you got hurt, Owie. And now, rather than admit these feelings, you're dancing around one another with this mind-numbing and frankly boorish mating ritual. So, please, for my sake, either quit your bickering or pull over, tear off those clothes, and get it over with already! What would you want to say to Gemma? Pretty much, I will let Gemma know that she is a fat cunt.
<laughs> oh no, <laughs> I'm devastated. <laughs>Violet says that she comes up to about Zayden's collarbone and that he is around six foot four, which would put her at about five foot two, I'm assuming. On page 148, and Darna is described as being a few feet taller than Violet, which would put her at at least a foot and a half taller than Zayden. Then we have Sagail, who is a very large dragon, and then we have Tarn, who is the second largest dragon in existence. Um, aside from General Melgren's. I was going to put his dragon on here um, for a size comparison, but I literally could not make the canvas any bigger. This is the maximum amount, and it limited me to four layers, y'all. So here you go. Here is the canonical-ish size of our fourth wing characters.